want to be vulnerable sometimes. Can I be vulnerable this yeah. time? Yeah. That's right. Go ahead. I want to be vulnerable. I want to get real and say, God, you know what? And one more thing, I'm going to tell you, I am going to lose my mind. Yes. Because it's the real that heals. But we keep pretending we can't get nowhere. But once we get real with God, God will get real with us. Amen. So one child of us got a mental health issue. One in five. Suicide. Suicide in the African American community. No, it's not just for Caucasian white girls who want to lose weight and they can't and want to kill themselves. It is the third leading cause of death between uh, for children between the ages of 10 and 24 years. Yes, it is. I have clients I set, see in a, a public school system in Prince George's County, a 10-year-old boy who tried to hang himself. The, bot, the, 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 the major symptom when we talk about suicide is hopelessness. Uh -huh. How in the world does a 10-year-old have a sense of hopelessness to the point that he wants to commit to end his life? But this is what we're dealing with, y'all. So it's not a joke if you have young people or older people in your family, in your congregation, who have a sense of hopelessness, don't want to live, they think they say things, that means that, you know, that they are, are depressed or severely depressed, self-harming. We have a lot of young people that do the cutting. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Get them some help. Yeah. As a matter of fact, in most, in all the counties in, in, in Maryland, in the state of Maryland, they even have crisis mobile units will come out to your house. Mm -hmm. You don't have to take them to the ER. The ER will come to uh -huh. you. So we have Where no excuse gone? when your children or if your loved ones Somebody in your family says that they want to take, they want to harm themselves. Take it seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Please take it seriously. Yeah. There are even yeah. studies that show that our men, our men, mm -hmm. our men, do what they call a, 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 a police assisted suicide. You know what that is? Wow. That's when they go out and they intentionally yeah. engage right. the police right. because they want to kill themselves, but they're not brave enough to do it. Oh, so they wow. get the police, police to help them out. Oh, wow. In our community, we shall live and not die. Mm, my God. We shall have hope and a future. But if we don't, if we don't recognize and we don't deal with when people say that they're suicidal, they have suicidal ideations, they want to harm themselves, they have a plan. Even if they don't have a plan, they keep telling you, I don't want to live no more. Take it seriously. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bipolar. Mm -hmm. We don't know, sometimes it's genetic. Sometimes you may have it in your family. Mm -hmm. A lot of times it's undiagnosed because a lot of us don't go to the doctor. Like the doctor over here said, to his chronic, to we bleed from every orifice in our body. Then we only go to the doctor when we can't do nothing else but go to the doctor. Right? Yeah. But bipolar disorder is in the African American community. A lot of times it goes undiagnosed and people end up having substance abuse issues because guess what? They become their own doctor and they uh -huh. self-medicate. Mm -hmm. If I can just give me a, 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 a joint, I'll be all right. Mm -hmm. If I can just give me a little drink, I'll be all right. I don't need to go see no doctor. But with bipolar disorder, the reason it's called bipolar is because it's absolutely two poles in your body. Mm -hmm. One pole causes mania. Mm -hmm. People can be uh, very irritable. Mm -hmm. They can have anger outbursts. They can do things like stay up for three or four days at a time. They can have obsessive behaviors like cleaning the crooks and crevices of the, of the, um, uh, uh, in their house. They can um, 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 have obsessive behaviors like uh, uh, being overly sexual, over sexualized. That's the mania side of bipolar disorder. Then the other side of bipolar, reason it's called, because it's two poles, is depression. They can be depression, have lack of energy, don't want to do nothing, be debilitated, won't. I have, I have a client who would not, she was so depressed clinically, severe clinical depression, that she could not get out of her, out of her bed. So what we had to do, we had to baby step her, right? And I told her, you got three tasks every day. Brush your hair, brush your teeth, wash your, do the little bird bath, you know, you know how your mom told you bird bath, and, 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 and put some clothes on. That's all she could do every day because she was so severely depressed. But how many know 
that God gives us a way to correct a lot of things. Yes. Amen. Thank you. See, because I believe in, in my practice, when you come to my practice, you come see me, we're going to talk about it. I use clinical, uh, what they call evidence-based therapeutic. That's what they call me at this, you know, big school, whatever. I use all of that, amen, that, the amen. stuff that works. But then I also pray with my clients. Amen. Because yeah. we don't pray at work. Yeah. We don't pray at work. Prayer has a healing component. They even yes. do studies that cancer patients who pray have better outcomes Amen. than cancer, cancer patients. Yes. Cancer patients do not, that do not pray. So prayer does work. Yes, prayer does. plus, okay? Go to therapy, take your medication. And the other issue, if you have, if you have uh, people in your family or loved ones who are uh, bipolar, mm -hmm. once they start feeling better, guess what they want to do? Stop taking your medication. Stop taking your medication. Yes. So you got to kind of like, yeah. you know, encourage them. You know, hey, you know, you need to take your medicine. And if you got some leverage, like they living in your house and it ain't their house, in order to stay here, that's right. 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 That's right is um, boundaries and relationships. <laughs> boundaries and relationships. Healthy boundaries. And a, a lot of us did not learn healthy boundaries in the relationship. And you know why? Because when we grew up, I don't know about you, but my mama would beat you till you could not breathe. I mean, you'd be like, <laughs> you know, be out of breath, kind of. Yeah. And then, and then, you know, she couldn't figure out who did something in the house. She beat everybody. Yeah. That was worse. Yeah. My, 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 my sister will tell you, I'm a snitcher. Yeah. I'm a snitcher. I will snitch. Me too. Me too. Me too. I know who did. Which one of them? C yeah. sharp. Let me say it for you. Mom. Yeah. All right. Say she did it. She. <laughs> So it's traumatic for me. And for a lot of people, it's trauma. It's trauma, but it's what we knew. I'm not, I'm not saying it was, you know, I'm saying it's what we knew. It's the way we grew up. But the thing, the, one of the effects that it had is we become submissive in our relationships. So we don't know when to say no. We don't know when to say no. We don't know how to um, advocate for ourselves. We let people walk, literally, walk over us. Literally. I mean, some of the stuff I, it'll blow your mind, some of the stuff I hear, I'm like, and you did what? And they did what? They took your car and went over to girlfriend's house? And okay, when they buried that car? Somebody gonna be dead. But, but, but they say, oh yeah, he, he took my car and went over to his girlfriend's house. And so what did you do? But when he came back, we um we went to the amusement park to get for real though. Oh, no. Does that sound like a boundary yeah. issue? Oh, yeah. No. Just for kind of yeah. So we don't a lot of us don't have um don't know how to be healthy in relationships because we didn't learn it in our family of origin. Mm -hmm. Or we didn't we didn't learn it in a healthy way. Yeah. And the and the truth is a lot of us didn't see healthy relationships modeled in our family of origin. Right? Because most of us, that's like 40 some percent of us, grew up in single parent households. So you never saw it in model. So you don't know what it looks like. That's okay. Google it. Oh, come and see me. I'll help you out. I promise you I will. I know that's right. Yeah. All right. Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a, um, it's a severe mental health issue. Um, I don't know if you guys remember a couple years back, we had a guy down at um, Naval Yard who ended up killing 11 people. But he was schizophrenic. He, he told his employer when they, they, he was a traveling consultant. And so he went to uh, up in Rhode Island somewhere and he told his employer, he called them and told them that the walls were talking to him. That is a symptom of schizophrenia. Yeah, yeah. Walls do not talk. Walls are in hand at all. You know, and he was having delusions and he was having hallucinations. Hallucinations. And eventually, they, the, the, the voices in his head was telling him to kill people. But when people, again, I don't care if they family members, Uncle Joe, Peanut, and them, right? If they tell you that they have these kind of, take it seriously. It could be, a, 
It could be substance induced because there's a lot of substances out here nowadays. We don't know what they can. But the, the, the bottom line is that they're having symptoms of hallucinations, delusions, and usually with schizophrenia, it has an onset around your early 20s to your late 20s. Right? So it, it usually has the, it usually starts to manifest.